Michael, would you like to wait <laughs> longer? <laughs> I want to bring him in. He writes for the Marina Times. You can find him knocking around the city most days. He is a man who comes and goes. What a Snyder, everybody. Come on. Hello, 2023. I'm glad to be back in the studio. For the record, I, I had to swim an atmospheric river to get here. It was exhausting. <laughs> it is, uh, it's, it's wet. Uh, hey, in case people don't know, yesterday was the 12th and final day of Christmas. Seriously, enough is enough. <laughs> uh, my nostrils <laughs> are, are still filled with the scent of uh, decaying pine needles. I mean, gag me with an ornament. So it's over until next <laughs> December. Uh, but that means it's January 6th, not just a day that will uh, last in infamy, but the Feast of the Epiphany on the Christian calendar, uh, supposedly when the three wise men finally showed up in Bethlehem with gifts for the baby you-know-who. More importantly, uh, this is the first day of carnival season in New Orleans, which will continue to Mardi Gras Day and end at midnight uh, on Ash Wednesday, wow. uh, which is the start of Lent. And I only bring this up because I love New Orleans and I love carnival season, but also uh, because I'm planning to give up sarcasm for Lent. So enjoy <laughs> oh. it. Enjoy it while you can, people. Oh, my gosh. Say it ain't so. No, I mean, it's you're, true. Uh, uh, Do you have a secret talent? Yeah, maybe you could explore something else. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Let's, get, let's get to some All movie right, reviews. Let's get to some movie uh, reviews. The only major new yeah. movie... Can you let him finish, sir? I'm going to let him finish. The I only uh, uh, major right. new movie with a wide release this weekend is a little something about a mechanical dolly called Megan only with the three where the E should be so high tech. Uh, she's oh. about the size of an eight-year-old girl and was built by an R&D genius at a toy company known for pioneering cute, fuzzy AI companions, you know, like Furbies. Mm -hmm. So the Megan doll has a responsive, evolving electronic intellect to be uh, in sync with the kid who owns it. So uh, the creator of Megan is a scientist played by Allison Williams, Brian Williams' daughter, you know, mm -hmm. Brian Williams' newscaster, sure. uh, his daughter, uh, who was in Girls, the TV show, and Get Out. And she's been awarded guardianship of her late sister and brother-in-law's emotionally damaged eight-year-old daughter. Uh, so Dr. Frankenbabe here uh, decides to distract the kid by pairing her with the prototype of Megan in order to test drive the doll for imminent mass marketing. What could possibly go wrong? I'm guessing a lot. I was fortunate. Everyone I worked with made me better That's at dad, my job. Brian, Brian well, Williams, you know, yes. If you've seen the trailer, you can guess what goes wrong. My first reaction to the trailer was, oh, Chucky has an older sister. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't go into any more details other than to say that I saw every plot twist and element coming before oh. the movie even started. <laughs> Although... <laughs> actual actual flesh and blood writers are credited. I'm almost certain that Megan was the work of the script bot 3000. I yeah. mean, I, I, I do yeah, want a little, a little formulaic. A little. I want to offer some, pr I think, you know, it's meant to be a, a horror comedy. So maybe right. they were going for that. But I want to offer some praise to the actress who uh, portrayed Megan. Uh, this is the latest in a series of great performances by Amanda Seyfried. What? Oh, oh, sorry. Megan just looks like a shrunken Seyfried, who, by the way, looks wow. uh, from certain angles like an adult-sized uh, brat style. But uh, admittedly, wow. I laughed a few times here, and I guess it's being touted as, as a horror comedy. But if it's a comedy, it's not funny enough. The laughs are of the, really? You went there variety. And if it's a, a horror movie, it's too obvious and hackneyed to be frightening. What it is... Mark is a smirky B movie product dumped into theaters during the annual movie dead zone of early January. Megan is no, in theaters. You're not going to see that on any posters. <laughs> no. That quote. Right, uh, that. Hack need, I'll ding. All right, fine. Go uh, let's. Um, I'm going to do a little catch up and a little uh, foreign movie uh, compendium here. I'll make it fast. Compendium, uh, I'll ding. Go uh, ahead. The, yeah. the lovely drama from Brazil. Mars One. Mm. By the way, this is the country's uh, a country's entry in the foreign language Oscar category. I think uh, this depicts the struggles of a lower middle class black family: uh, property manager dad, house cleaner mom, college going daughter, and tween age son in the aftermath of fascist president Jair Bolsonaro's election. Although loving parents, both mom and dad have or have had issues. Now they're facing economic shortfalls in the shadow of the new regime. Plus, the daughter has fallen in love and is considering leaving the family nest. 
and the son is secretly more interested in becoming an astrophysicist and joining the proposed 2030 mission to colonize Mars than in following his father's wishes and becoming a professional soccer player. So you have a little tension there, uh, and that's why it's called Mars One. Um, the main delight of Mars One is the fine ensemble work by the cast. They create a family so real that you can't help but hope they make it through the strife intact. Mars One was written and directed by Gabrielle Martins, uh, who delivers a satisfying and thoroughly human portrait of familial relations. Uh, it's in Portuguese with English subtitles. Mars One is in theaters and also available on the usual streaming services. Wow. Okay, you liked it. I did. Uh, the superb German actress Vicky Krapes is... Uh, just she's fantastic. She's so good in English language films, including Phantom Thread and Old. Uh, she is the magnetic center of Corsage, uh, a lush and elegantly appointed biopic of sorts depicting the midlife crisis faced by the bold, beautiful, idiosyncratic Empress Elizabeth of Austria. Uh, she was known by all of her doting and and even her appalled subjects as Empress Sissy, and was a uh, proto-fashionista uh, to her followers. Clearly, she was a woman born a century before her time, which seems to be the main point that writer-director Marie Kreutzer is trying to make here. Starting with Sissy's 40th birthday in 1877, Corsage uh, basically details her attempts to escape the velvet trap of her title and image with travel and various questionable liaisons. Uh, so... Expertly acted by creeps and beautifully shot, but it seems to drag more than traips, and it suffers from the same annoying anachronistic use of rock and pop music in a period setting that seemed jarring rather than clever in Sofia Coppola's Marie Antoinette, uh, a similarly irrelevant uh, and irreverent and gratuitous twist on history that also didn't work, even though it was more lively than this. Corsage has its uh, fragrant moments, uh, but wilts over the cumbersome course of its near Jim, two hour. Did, Kim, he, he tied in corsage references, right. and fragrant yeah. moments. Yeah, but yeah, I step yeah. on the end of, of the sentence, why don't you? Yeah, anyway, <laughs> it's a. Uh, Near two hour running time. No. Uh, it's in I wish theaters. I stepped on the beginning of the sentence. I, I, I think some people actually. <laughs> Idiosyncratic uh, is a ding word, uh, says the, Tom. Yeah, people in my uh, peer group, some of them liked it very much, but I found that it was a little ponderous. ponderous uh, is all right, idea. one more right. foreign film yeah. because I loved it. And it came out a few months ago, but I just caught up to it. Girl Picture, which in Finland is entitled Girls, 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 uh, oh. same as an old Elvis Presley flick, I might add. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it a Finnish like a coming of age movie uh, that came out a couple months ago. And I just finally had a chance to catch up to it. And it's quite good. It's about three weeks in the interconnected lives of three smart and sexually adventurous college age girls. Um, and its depiction of their growing pains and fractious relationships feels as real and universal as one could hope. Uh, it gets a bit soapy in the interpersonal drama, but it's also blessed with witty dialogue. Uh, its insights into female bonding and, and pack behavior are sharp, and the young actresses who play the uh, girls, girls, girls of the title are all excellent. Uh, one of them is a rebellious type with family issues. Her bestie is a dewy-eyed, eager beaver, sorry, seeking a boy who will bring her the elusive orgasm. And the third is a driven figure skater who's been repressing her emotions until, well, you gotta see it. It may be called Girl Picture, but for all my testosterone, I embraced it too. It's available for streaming on demand. Girl Picture gets high marks from me. Wow. Look at that. He gave you four offerings a uh, girl picture also known in finland as girls 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 thank but, you very much thank you very is, much uh, i feel like that's a, a in the old days south of market sign that you'd see there <laughs> yeah, on, uh, right, right 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 there on market Does it have subtitles that one uh yeah they anything in a foreign language kim can be uh, acquired yeah. with subtitles uh, read, 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 because Girls, Girls, Girls is very good. <laughs> uh, wow. It's finish, finish, finish. So you have to uh, be up for the finish language and then yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, up for the reading. It's strong to the finish. Okay. Oh, my God. Corsage new... oh, is uh, the one with the German actress playing Empress Elizabeth. 
Yeah, and Pris Sissy, by the way, uh, she's so popular that they've made like a series of films about her in Austria. Uh, and this is the first, I think, to break into the uh, uh -huh. into the American theater. But you didn't scene. love it. I didn't. I, you I felt Vicky, it wilted as you to use Vicky your... Vicky Crepes yeah. is so good. But you felt that you, it, she was better than the movie was. I thought so, yeah. Okay. Mars won, though. He liked. I did. It's soccer or going to Mars. That's uh, that's the kid's dilemma. Yeah. That's dad, the kid's... dad is not buying into this yeah. astrophysics thing. Great ensemble work, he said, and there's a terrific... Uh, uh, the it, the director, I think, is uh, that Gabriel uh, Martins. Martins, and it's in Portuguese, so you have to be up for the reading. Yeah, uh, Megan is Brian Williams' daughter's thing. Allison Williams. I was yeah. fortunate. Never. Everyone I worked with made me better at my job. <laughs> but uh, someone should help Allison in that regard. No, she's fine. She's she, fine. you, you liked her. But you felt that it was uh, it, it kind of missed. It, it was it just the robot horror comedy that it, missed. Yeah, it just wasn't funny enough and wasn't scary enough for me personally. Yeah. I've seen some scary, funny movies in my day. You have. That's a bit, you're a movie critic. That's, you know, uh, um, Mark. I, I want to get to this really quickly because yes, I know we're running out of time. Yes. Um, as of this past weekend, the Marina Times uh, in uh, news boxes and in various other locations um, in San Francisco uh, yeah. features my January column, which is my best of 2022 column oh yeah i like that and um I, it's you know it's easy to just say go read it at marinatimes.com oh wait i just did but i could also rattle off some of my favorites uh, i could just Please, give you for people who may not be able to get to it for whatever reason I have a busy uh, people that, that don't week. read you mean? yeah i'm gonna have some people have a busy week. okay so yeah. uh, i'll quickly uh my Favorite 12 movies, and this is an inexact science, okay. Mark. So I have lists upon lists after my top 12. And even in those lists, for instance, best foreign language films, I missed uh, listing uh, All Quiet on the Western Front, which is available on Netflix and a, a terrific adaptation of the book. And I missed uh, an animated movie, Bell, that I liked, but it's pretty exhaustive. And again, you can see it at marinatimes.com. My top 12 yes, for sir, 2022, for All right. Armageddon Time, which is uh, director uh, James Gray's uh, reminiscence of his childhood as a Jewish kid growing up in the New York suburbs during the late 70s and early 80s. People can compare it to The Fablemans. I think it's a better film. Armageddon Time? Armageddon Time. Oh, the wow. Banshees of uh, Inishurin, which I uh, gushed about yeah, here on that. the air, yeah. um, teaming filmmaker Martin McDonough with two of his favorite actors, uh, once more, the guys that teamed up in In Bruges for McDonough, Colin Farrell and uh, Brendan Gleeson as a pair of friends in uh, on, uh, on an island off the coast of Ireland in 1923 who have a falling out. And it's fantastic. Uh, it and, could be, if you said, what's brutal. your favorite movie of the year? <laughs> I could argue that uh, Barbarian, uh, which is a horror film, which I thought was brilliantly uh, conceived, uh, social satire and actual scares, unlike Megan. Uh, I really enjoyed <laughs> Barbarian um, Broker, which we gushed about uh, a week or so ago. The latest film by the great Japanese director Koreda, uh, the guy who did Nobody Knows and Shoplifters. This is about baby brokers in Korea. Right. Well, you Loved said it took it. A, yeah, I remember you saying it took a nice twist. You said yeah, um, a movie that isn't out or available yet, but was dropped in New York and L.A. theaters to be considered uh, as part of the 2022 uh, film panoply uh yeah. close which is a, a gentle and vivid portrait of adolescent friendship uh from belgium the lives of two 13 year old belgium boys uh whose devotion to one another is tested by peer pressure and uh, changing interests uh, very powerful it won the grand jury prize for director and co-screenwriter lucas don't uh, at this past year's Cannes film festival yeah emergency which i loved uh which is a look at collegiate recreation cliques and racism uh totally cool emily the criminal giving aubrey plaza the best role of her career to date i haven't uh, seen that yet i see keeps but you liked it i encourage you to check it out okay. uh she, she plays a, a, a would-be professional well, artist series, in la right? who's that's so deep movie, in debt after some bad breaks that she decides to become part of a scam is that a series or is it a movie it's a movie these oh, are movies that. mark that's what i thought and that's gonna movie is not a movie is it? of 2022 okay I'm everything sorry, yeah. everywhere. Let him finish, i'm sorry I, I had a question for him everything all right, everywhere ahead. all at once um i loved it of all the comic book oh, movies yeah. about Why multiple yeah multiple okay. dimensions and alternate universes this is the sharpest michelle yo killing it uh, as the lead character uh, uh, a wife mother and daughter trying to keep her family struggling laundromat afloat in the face of an irs audit Ter 
It's a completely wonderful film. Glass Onion, which I've gushed about as well. The Knives Out mystery starring. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. That's really Daniel good. Craig as a Foghorn Leghorn. No, yeah, as Benoit really Blanc, yeah. uh, the Southern Fried Detective. Uh, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. What number are we on, Michael? Because I'm We're running out of time. We're almost done. And I, Can you let him finish? No, I may not be able to let him finish. RRR, which I've also praised on the air, a completely bonkers three-hour potpourri of martial arts and Bollywood production numbers. Oh, yeah, you really like that. And history. And finally... Tar, a tour de force for actress uh, Kate Blanchett. I've heard Blanchett. Great things about that, too, uh, uh, from you and then from That's others. number 12, and they're not in order, order yeah. uh, other than alphabetical. Wow. Well, let me say, uh, if people want that list, and I actually do, I can only remember so many, you know, uh, in my advancing years, hmm. my recollection has diminished. CC. And so I can find that whole list with explanation at marinatimes.com. Right. And I uh, pick up the Marina Times, of course, all around the city and around the Bay Area, but uh, at marinatimes.com. You can find him here on Fridays as he graces us regularly with his takes on movies, on series, the ones with subtitles, the ones that are Marvel heroes and the DC comic thing. Bring it on. I love you it all. You do it all, Michael. I love it all. Come and go on a rainbow. Go Niners, Michael. Go Niners. Indeed, Sunday, baby. All right.